Hello my friends, this is Jonesy Boy here and welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronic freak. Today, I'm talking about HDR. HDR, what is it and how does it affect your media viewing experience? If you have not been paying attention to TV innovations in the past few years, you're not the only one. 3D was a two months after prom dumpster baby abortion. It sickens me to remember that pile. With TV corporations attempting to always throw a new technology down our throat and act like it's the best new thing on the market, it's not a surprise that we are where we are in the TV realm. The lack of true innovation is a real first world struggle that has to be overcome before we can truly trust that the TV companies are really selling us what they are promising. The best viewing experience in our living room for the money, ignoring OLED that is. Getting back to the matter at hand, HDR is the new tech on the market. HDR is standing for high dynamic range. This tech makes contrast between the whitest whites and darkest blacks accentuated. Colors are more realistic and the entire image becomes more vibrant. This tech is great when implemented correctly, but requires all tech between your Blu-ray player to the TV to be HDCP compatible. Also, the implementation of HDR varies from disc to disc. This is also supported by the top streaming techs from Amazon, Hulu, and Netflix to Vudu. This is also supported by PS4 Pro Xbox One S, and new PC games, including Resident Evil 7 and Battlefield 1. I even went down to my local Fry's Electronics for a new TV for this reason. Not to mention that there was a great deal on the TV I was interested in. Do you remember that wow experience that you got when you first saw HDTV? HDR is a similar experience. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, Jonesy boy, how does it work? HDR compatibility is a two-part system, the TV and the source device. The TV part is easy. For the TV to be HDR compatible, it should be able to produce more light than a normal TV in certain areas of the image. This is similar to local dimming, but to an even greater range. Tied in with HDR is wide color gamut, AKA WCG. For years, TVs have been capable of a greater range of colors than what is possible in Blu-ray or HD downloads. This is where things get tricky. You don't want the TV just creating these colors willy-nilly. It's better left to the director of the video content to decide where they would like these colors to be. An HDR TV needs HDR content to look beautiful. This content is getting easier to find every day. Amazon and Netflix are some good options for 4K HDR content. Another source of HDR content is physical discs. Now that you know you need to have an HDR compatible TV and HDR compatible source device, this being an HDMI 2.0A connection, do you need new cables or connections? To answer that, no. The current HDMI cables can carry HDR signal just fine. You can check with your manufacturer to see if your device is HDR compatible. If you like, I can make another video about HDMI 2.0a updates. Just let me know down in the comments. From what I've been hearing and reading about HDR is TV experts are truly excited. 4K itself didn't have anyone this excited. The common comment about the transition from 1080p to 4K was more pixels are cool, but better pixels would be amazing. You can see my videos on 4K TVs right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Make sure to make a comment down below if you have any comments on this video or any content suggestions for future videos. I really appreciate you watching this video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.